Hello and welcome to 1973 GMC Motorhome episode number 22, finally camping. Right now, I'm heating up some hot water on our nice stove. I can almost not stand this how luxurious this is compared to tank camping. I love our stove, so I'm going to make myself some coffee. There's our sink. There's our table. Wait a second. We're making our, our bed, so there's a big mess there right now. Uh, it's now getting to be nighttime, and it's a little chilly outside, but we're nice and toasty in here. So that's nice. So that's what I'm doing. I'm making some coffee. There's the view from sitting on the couch. Michelle's out there. She's going to start a fire. So now it's time for bed later. We just walk back here, get in this nice cozy bed. That's going to be nice. Got my clothes up in there. And she always got her clothes up in here. And in this closet. Got all kinds of stuff in there. Each one of these has it's got uh, paper towels and stuff in it. It's got paper plates. It's got uh, antacids and blood pressure medicine. And this, of course, is our electric cabinet. It's down here. There's the boxed wine. That's what the bathroom looks like. We've already seen this. And then that's all full of stuff. And that's all full of stuff. So that's it. So our refrigerator, which is also full of stuff, is going to run all night. Okay, good morning. We had the first nice night in the camper. It was a little chilly. Uh, we were able to toast ourselves up with the stove a little bit, but today I will probably spend a little bit of time checking out the furnace and see if I can't get it fired up. Um, I really just have to turn the valve on and figure out why there's no power going to it and uh, see what happens. So, nice night. Somebody had their generator running all night, which... Uh, was annoying but because we weren't in a tent and we had doors that we could close uh it wasn't too bad so first night check <laughs>
this guy's GMC really much nicer paint that's for sure on the outside but the awning I don't know if that's normal how that is but I see where it's attached I guess I'd have to attach it above there it's a zip D awning attaches down there looks like he's got some original wheels and tires on this one but nicer sliding windows in the front okay here is my charge pro go like that and we can see we're using 158 watts i got my fan and refrigerator on it's drawing 8.29 amps 14.4 volts uh the battery's still full so it's on boost um from the solar it's using about 100 watts but we've had 809 watt hours added today 813 now and we've got we've had as much as 302 watts So it's 56 outside, it's 75 inside. I just cranked up the heat. I'm gonna shut it off for the night. I'm gonna turn the valve off on the furnace, or I did turn it off because I, we don't need it kicking on and off all night, and I don't trust it yet. <clears throat> but we've got it nice and toasted up, and in the morning I'll re-toast it. I've got the bed set up for our friend uh, who's come to stay with us. So this is what this looks like opened up and Michelle's gonna come in and put some bedding on it. We got our chairs facing this way, which is kind of neat. Oops, let's turn that light on. That's kind of, when you turn the chairs like that, it incorporates that into the living area, so that's nice. So here we are all at night, all cozy. There's the old faithful running there but uh, the thing works good and it, it uh, it's been great so it's time for bed now so it's the next morning last night the refrigerator ran all night I mean it didn't run all night it cycled on and off got it this morning still have 100% battery um, it, it must be dropping down a hair but then it charges up I'm getting so much solar power versus the power that I'm using that it's not even making a dent in the battery. So that's good. Um, <clears throat> I got up around six in the morning to use the facilities, at which point I 
fired up the furnace and I ran that for about 15 minutes. It was about, uh, got down about 50 degrees last night. So it was about 50 degrees in the camper and um, it took about 15 minutes to heat it up to like 75. That heater blows some air. It's, it's noisy and I need to um, uh, take it back out when we get home and I'll probably have a video on that. There's just not a lot to show on this video uh, because everything's working great. Uh, knock on some wood here. Um, this camper is comfortable. Our, our friend arrived and she's sleeping on the, um, the fold-out bed last night. So that was good. And it's just great. You can get up and go into the bathroom and brush your teeth in the morning and uh, wash your hands in a, in a sink and... Uh, it's just working, so I'll uh, see if there's anything else more GMC related to put on it. I'm hoping to go to the uh, other guy's uh, GMC later, and if he lets me film for this, then I'll, I'll kind of show you what's what with that. Um, and that's it. So, so far, so good. I've been here Thursday, Friday. It's now Saturday morning. Uh, all systems go, so... Uh, let's see what happens now. I always like to see neat old motorhomes like this. Anytime they're sort of on. Came around the corner and that guy was like, hey, what's up? But he ended up being cool. He said it was, I can't think of who it was made by, but it's an Explorer 340. There's not many of those left out there, probably far less than the GMC. Supposedly there's a, a green GMC here too, so I'm looking for that now. There's a cool old Travco. Thing's in nice shape, that's awesome. It will always be you and your secret now forever. What's up, Phil? What's up? How you doing? Phil's got his uh, 75? 76. 76 GMC. I'm going to take a quick walk around this and leave Phil to his, his group hey, here. What's up? Everybody what's say up? hi, Eric. And this guy, GMC this guy, this all right, guy all right. knows everything you can about the pickle. The pickle. All right. Thanks, Phil. Yeah, buddy. Oh, look how nice. You like the, this, the pickle? Yes. Yeah, it's cool. All right. <laughs> Really nice interior in this one. Look at this wood. That's nice. Very cool. Got a couple roof ACs. Heinz pickle. Now he said he didn't put that on there. One thing this has that I like about it is it's got these full sliding windows. Reminds us has a little baby sliders in the bottom. So I'd like to get one of those windows at some point. But uh, you know none of these uh, really the other uh, maroon one cosmetically looks pretty good but these things are tanks man. I don't care what anybody says they're they go and go and go with you know minimal minimal work so very very cool there's three of us here that's amazing here is red gmc with custom made table really nice tongue and groove roof uh kind of cool chairs up there they don't look like a, um, oh, not an el dorado but a Oldsmobile? uh no, it was a Cutlass. It's old wheel Cutlass, yeah. Nice cabinets. All right, we're going to walk around the outside. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. And this one is a 75 with a 455 in it. So all we've seen is GMCs with 455s, no 403s. 
original 16.5 wheels, but Firestone Trans Forces. That's kind of neat, that vent right there. I might have to do one of those. Good old GMC logo. Furnace output looks similar. Artwork on the side. Now he's also got the roof rails, which are nice. Triple bike holder. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, it's time for bed. That's gonna be my daughter, that's gonna be our friend. It's interesting how this lays out because it fits kind of perfectly, but you've got one big, nice bed. And in the morning, I can open up that furnace door and pull out the front, it'll blow nice hot air out of the front of that. So, pretty cozy. Good night. Everything worked great. Now we're gonna head home. So I'll get back to you when we get back. All packed back up. Well, we've made it over the worst of the ups and downs. And Totoro struggled a little bit, but made it. Now we're relatively flat the rest of the way home. So we're gonna keep it at around 55 miles an hour where it's very comfortable. And uh, we've still got a little ways to go, but this is what it looks like driving down the highway. There's a boat. Okay. Here we are back at the ranch. We made it. We literally almost hit a deer coming in on the road. We're like all relaxed. We're like, hey, we made it. That's great. So we got a total of, let me take my glasses off. 3802 on there now. We'll see what that is. So unbuckle my seatbelt. We just threw our crap in here and got out of there, uh, which was really nice. When you have a tent, you gotta put it all together. We didn't have to do that. So it made it. Good job. Uh, I guess I've also learned there's some things that I need to do. I believe I have the small manifold crack many of these have. It's starting to leak. It felt like it was a little bit down on power. I got a couple backfires in the way back. 
I think that's my fuel filter. I'm going to take a look at that. It's probably clogged up, but um, I'm not thrilled about the stopping power of the brakes, although they just worked really good when we almost hit that deer. Uh, so anyway, we made it. It was a great trip. Never ran out of uh, power with the battery. That was awesome. Everything worked out really well. So uh, thanks for watching this one. Uh, don't anticipate seeing another one for a couple weeks. Um, but uh, the journey's not over with this thing. There's still a lot to do, and I've learned a ton uh, on this trip about what needs to continue to happen to make this a super awesome motorhome. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.